Hey guys, hope you are doing well. This tutorial is going to be on this look. And I feel like bright eyes, winged liner, and a classic red lip is a look that's perfect for so many different occasions and anyone can pull it off. So if you're interested and wanna see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So to begin, I'm gonna start by priming my face and I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is their smoothing primer and I'm just using my fingers to dab that onto my skin. And next for foundation, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation and I'm in the shade W3 and I'm just buffing that onto my skin using my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I'm kinda of dabbing it onto my skin and then using small circular motions to work it in. And then I'm going to also pick up the L'Oreal Unfallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105 and I'm just applying that to areas that I tend to get a little bit more oily and need a little bit more coverage because this does provide a little bit more coverage and it's a matte foundation. I'm applying it with a dampened beauty blender so that it's not accentuating any dry patches. And next I'm going to be moving on to eyebrows and I'm just going to fill them in using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and I am using the shade Ebony. And I like to just follow the natural shape of my eyebrows, um, doing small hair-like strokes. And then um, towards the front of my brows, I like to flick the product upwards to create more of a natural effect. And I like to comb the product through my brows using the spoolie at the other end of that pencil. And I have been loving this pencil to fill in my brows. It's so easy to use and it cuts the time that it used to take me to fill in my brows in half. So this is definitely my go-to now. Then next I'm going to clean up my brows using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC30 and my Sigma F70 Concealer Brush. And I find this step really important because not only does it clean up any rough edges, but it also hides any stray hairs that I have neglected to pluck. And then I'm going to set my brow hairs in place using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. Then I'm going to do some color correcting under my eyes and I'm using my NYX Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Medium and applying it with a Sigma F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush. Then right after that I'm going to do some concealing and highlighting and I'm using my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm applying that in a triangular shape underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, um, my forehead, some areas that I have blemishes there and also under my lip and my cupid's bow as well. And then I'm going to go back in using my dampened beauty blender and blend that all out. And now that my arm feels like it's going to fall off, I will go ahead and set all of that using my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm gonna apply it with that same beauty blender. And the reason why I'm applying the powder using a beauty blender is because this method really helps prevent it from looking cakey and powdery. And with the fact that my skin is exceptionally dry right now, I definitely don't want to accentuate that dryness. Then I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Real Techniques Dual Fiber Face Brush and my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Plus. Next I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to start by priming them using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and a Sigma P80 flat top brush to apply it and I'm bringing it all the way up to my brow bone. And I'm going to set that eyeshadow base using Cream by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm applying that shade all over my lids using my Sigma E40 blending brush and also bringing that up to my brow bone. And I'm going to pick up the shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and I'm applying it to my crease using my Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just working that into my crease using small circular motions going back and forth. 
then taking the shade Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to apply that into the outer corner of my eye in a V shape using my MAC 217 blending brush. And I'm just going to um, deepen up the outer corner of my eye to create a little bit more depth and then blend it into the um, crease of my eye as well. And then for some more added depth, I'm going to go in with the shade Americano by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that to my outer corner um, once again in a V shape using a smaller tapered brush and this is a Sigma E45. And um, once I apply it to the outer corners, I'm not going to bring it in, I'm just going to pick up my MAC 217 blending brush again with no more product but just using it to blend in all of the colors there to make it look nice and gradient. And I'm going to pick up the all over lid shade which is going to be rice paper by MAC and I'm applying that using my Sigma E60 shader brush and I'm going to pack that onto my lid bringing it up to the crease. Then I'm going to pick up my Sigma E35 tapered blending brush again and a little bit more of peach smoothie and then blend that all together. And then I wanted to brighten up the eyes a bit more so I'm going to pick up this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Cheap Date and I'm just going to pop that right on the center of my lid using my MAC 242 shader brush and this is a really pretty bright gold shade. Then to add some drama to this look, I'm going to pick up my Inglot 77 Gel Liner and start mapping out my wing using my Sigma EO6 Liner Brush. And this brush makes winged liner so, so easy to achieve. Um, it takes all of the work out of it and kind of does it for you. It's the perfect size and perfect angle to create um, a really nice sharp wing. And I'm making the liner um, a bit thinner as I come in towards the inner corner of my eye because I still want to be able to see all of the brightness that we've added to the lid. I'm starting by mapping out my wing using the tail of my eyebrow as a guide. So I'm just making sure the tip of the wing is parallel to the tail of my eyebrow and then just kind of tapering the shape off um, the closer that I get to the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to pick up my Sigma E21 smudge brush and I'm going to apply the shade Americano really closely to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with the Fawn shade and I'm going to apply that right beneath Americano using a MAC 219 pencil brush and then applying Peach Smoothie right below that using that same brush. I'm going to line my waterline using a nude pencil and this is the MAC Chromographic Eye Pencil in the shade NC20. And I'm going to warm up my face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun and I'm applying that to the outer perimeter of my face and a little bit on my cheekbones as well using my MAC 135 brush. And I'm going to do a little bit of contouring using my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and I'm going to take the lightest shade and the medium shade and kind of combine them together and apply them to the hollows of my cheeks and my temples using my NARS Eda brush. And I'm going to pick up that middle highlight shade from the same palette on a Morphe E48 brush and kind of run it right underneath my contour to clean it up a bit. Then for blush, I'm going to use Mocha by MAC and I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then kind of blending it outward using my It For Ulta Flawless Blush Brush. Then to give me that glow, I'm going to pick up the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator and apply it to the high points of my cheekbones using my Real Technique Setting Brush and also running it down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose as well. Then I'm going to contour my nose using my NARS Eda brush and that lightest contour shade in the Kat Von D shade and light palette. 
Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and I'm going to be using my current favorite mascara and this is the Buxom Lash Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. I have been loving this mascara because it doesn't flake off on me and it makes my lashes look nice and voluminous. But I'm going to go ahead and line my lips using my NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Hot Red. And because I'm doing red lips for this look, I'm making sure to be really careful and taking my time while applying my lip liner to make sure that I'm giving my lipstick a nice guide. Then for the star of the show, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Seraphine. And I'm really hoping that I said that correctly. And if I didn't, then please excuse me. But anyways, this shade is a gorgeous true red that makes your teeth look nice and white. Then as a finishing touch, I'm going to take a little bit of that Soul Hollywood Illuminator on a Real Techniques detailer brush and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. And then this look is complete. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video.